Thank you very much. Of course, uh, the best uh, would be in pancreatic cancer to be early in the diagnosis so the treatment could be more effective. And we will speak today of the very beginning of pancreatic cancer and see if it's possible to do something uh, in the earlier lesion, IPMN, intraductal papillary mucinous tumor, or uh, pancreatic intraepithelial neoplasia. You all know that uh, genetic susceptibility in pancreatic cancer is present in about 5% of cases. And we know now very well the preconscious lesions like PANIN or IPMN, and these lesions are found in family at risk. We also know that an uh, early cure of this lesion is possible in up to 80% of patients with uh, potentially malignant but not invasive IPMN and even uh, malignant IPMN. Familial pancreatic cancer occurs in two forms, genetic syndrome or familial aggregation. Familial aggregation, you have uh, several cases of pancreatic cancer at, at different generations in the same family, while in genetic syndromes, well-known BRAC2 or BRAC1 mutation, familial melanoma, Seleka and 2A, port jagger hereditary pancreatitis, favor the appearance of pancreatic cancer. And in this family, uh, you have a theoretical risk of cancer that exceed in relatives five to 10 person in the lifetime. So you can uh, envisage a screening in these patients. Of course, you cannot do a general population screening as it can be do uh, for breast cancer and uh, colorectal cancer. You have to select patients for pancreatic cancer who have free relative affectors, whatever the degrees, or more, two or more uh, relative affectors are the first degrees, and BRAC1, BRAC2, CDK, uh, N2A, with a relative uh, who had a pancreatic cancer in that family, everybody with hereditary pancreatitis due to the huge risk of pancreatic cancer and port Jagger syndrome. You have some imaging technique available for that. You can use CT scan, MRI, PET scan, uh, endoscopic ultrasonography, eventually with final aspiration. And each procedure has its own advantage and limit. CT scan, you have a very nice definition of parenchyma. And even in the cyst, you can detect a mural nodule. But the limit is a cumulative radiation in young patients in who you perform a lot of uh, screening every year uh, during the life. MRI, you have a nice uh, view of ductal system. And now with uh, diffusion, restriction of diffusion, you can try to find some very uh, uh, earlier lesion, but the availability of MRI is not so high. PET scan, you can detect only malignant composants and uh, probably have a too low sensitivity to detect early degenerations. And finally, USFNA, of course it has a high accuracy, but it's an invasive procedure with general anesthesia. If you do that every year, it's could be problematic is, uh, in, uh, in some patients, and FNR uh, carries a risk of complication. Yes, you can try to make a screening in high-risk high patient, but you have to ensure first the willingness to follow long screening in this patient with repeated exams, the willingness to accept US uh, under uh, general anesthesia with possible FNA when indicated, as well to undergo surgery if you find some abnormality in this patient. Thus, you should exclude for screening uh, patient with medical or surgical contraindication to undergo US, those who had uh, previous uh, surgical uh, procedure like Bill Roth or Roux in Y anastomosis that precludes to perform correct US and of course pregnant women and the patients who are too old who have short life expectancy due to comorbidities. In the CAPS consortium that uh, was uh, performed in uh, 2011, 
uh, we were asked from some question in this nice meeting, and what uh, one of these questions was, what the aim of screening, what is a successful screening for you? And uh, we answer all together that a resectable cancer, of course, would be nice to find. Panins, it depends on the uh, advance of panin. IPMN has a potential value. Panin-free, multifocal, probably when you find and when you treat it's a success of screening. And of course, high-grade IPMN, T1, N0, M0, or cancer T1, but always N0, M0, and E0 are considered as success of screening. This is theory, of course, but it's uh, one idea, important idea. And I summarize the uh, main study in the literature about the screening. From Br Tel Brental in 1999, uh, you see that uh, there was uh, more than 10 studies uh, with a lot of uh, different uh, way of screening modalities. ERCP was uh, uh, frequently used uh, uh, in the first studies. And you see on the right that the relevant lesions were fine from 1 to 50% of patients. Thus, as various methods were used, a various rate of abnormality was found at screening. And of course, the difficulties to interpret this data is that a relevant lesion is not a homogeneous definition between the studies. Uh, here in this table, you have the summary of screening effort in pancreatic cancer in patients who underwent uh, surgery. And you see that there were some pre-malignant uh, lesions identified, as well as a few group of patients with true malignant lesions. Last year, Marco Bruno was in this place and presented a nice study of Holland uh, screening. 230 high-risk patients participate to a prospective cohort with a median age of 65. Uh, for cancer, usual age as for a cancer, the same, and the median age at inclusion was uh, 52. They estimate that the risk to develop cancer in this, during this screening was 10 to 15 years, and overall they were estimated to be 10% of risk in the whole cohort. And in 106 patients, there were development of pre malignant lesion in one, Progression of abnormality in 10 and new lesion in screening interval in 4. A second study uh, recently published in the GCO was performed by three tertiary centers in Europe in Marburg, Germany, Madrid, Spanien, and uh, Leiden, Holland. And there were uh, sc systematic screening of familial uh, pancreatic cancer and in the last study of patients who uh, carry. Um, CDK and 2A mutation. The median age was uh, 42 uh, at the beginning, and the median duration of follow was 2.8. And AUS and MRI were used every year, except in Germany since 2011. The US is only used every three years when MRI is normal to avoid. Too, too, may, too, too much uh, general anesthesia. Overall, 618 MRI and 402 US were performed. Finally, uh, this order found three uh, cases of tumor, which is 1.4% uh, of the population study, one adenocarcinoma, PT3 and one, in a 53-year-old woman that was diagnosed 26 months after MRI screening, uh, she underwent a total pancreatectomy but had a metastatic course and died uh, 38 months after surgery. A cystic lesion evolutive was also found, but this was a serous cystodenoma, which required surgery because due to fear of malignancy uh, on the OSFNA final aspiration material, but finally it was benign. And a neuroendocrine tumor grade two a small size, five millimeter, was also fine, and uh, the patient on the one also surgery. Overall, 13 patients uh, had surgery uh, with heavy procedure, left pancreatectomy, Weeple's procedure in one, and total pancreatectomy in five. And lesion at risk, considered at risk, were fine in four patients, so two 
person of the population screen with panning free, high PM and high grade dysplasia, and some panning focal, uh, multifocal grade two, which brain duct, panning one, and finally benign cirrhosis tadenoma. And the third theory uh, is of our experience that we, we performed this study with Jean-Baptiste Dancé, who is a resident uh, uh, and work with us, and a population of 258 relative at risk from 152 families collected uh, since 2007 in our group were studied. First look that 43 uh, percent of patients had in fact insufficient criteria for screening. They were addressed to genetic counseling, but in fact, they didn't achieve the criteria for screening. And in red, you have the uh, syndromic familia with, uh, as usual, a prominency of BRAC2 mutation. The preliminary results, sorry for French résultats, uh, 98 patients were screened, 11 had formal lesion at the beginning, they were known to have IPMN, and 84 didn't have anything at the first screening. And finally, um, of the patient with formal lesion, six were operated on, and in the other side, patient with, who starts the beginning without lesion, on, uh, 11 was operated on, so finally, uh, 70 patients underwent surgery. And in this screening, we find abnormality in uh, uh, 50, 7% of patients, mainly in red, IPM and branch duct, and other lots of different lesions went fine, exactly like in other study I, I showed before. And finally, 17 patients in our group uh, underwent surgical resection, which is a rate of 18 uh, person screen. Uh, 15, uh, uh, 14 had uh, familial pancreatic cancer, and three had BRAC2 mutation. The type of surgery is described here, mainly left pancreatic resection. And finally, uh, panin were found in uh, up to 80% of uh, patients. IPN men uh, involving the main pancreatic duct were found in uh, f six to uh, six to ten percent of patients. And of course, uh, main uh, patient had IPM and brain ducts and two had severe dysplasia, and two had cancer. So these patients were probably the most important to be screened, and we estimate that the rentability of the screening was uh, 17%. I show you shortly some examples with uh, slides, uh, most of them uh, courtesy by Laurent Palazzo, which is a very famous endoscopist, as you know. This is a small IP man here, uh, and in this small IPMN, we have two concerns to design. You have the cyst, you don't know the degree of malignancy of the cyst and the dysplasia, but also you don't know what happened in the vicinity of the cyst, and it's probably very important because in the patient, probably the precancerous uh, lesion could be diffused in the pancreas. So you choose between resection in the cyst and the uh, resection of pancreatic. You can uh, aspirate the cyst, this is simple and reproducible, but uh, there are morbidity and you have poor informative tissue sample and no, low value of cyst fluid analysis in IPMN. If you perform a larger pancreatectomy, of course you have more tissue, but of course you have more uh, morbidity with fistula, diabetes, and even death. And in median pancreatectomy, the rate of fistula is very high, even the rate of diabetes is less. Of course, you have more for PATS, but you have more morbidity for patients. Here, for example, this is uh, a precocious uh, malignant transformation of a cyst in a patient with BRAC2 mutation. And here, this is typical images of panins, which seem benign, measuring three millimeters, and we perform biopsy, you can find uh, panin free, so it's probably very important in this patient to perform biopsy if you don't perform resection. Often you find uh, chronic pancreatic slide feature. This is pretty difficult to analyze. That can be unspecific because of alcohol or, alcohol or tobacco consumption and there are 10 to 30 percent of false positive. And if you propose biopsy, uh, how to obtain histology? With small uh, biopsy, ESFNA probably is not enough. 
And in hereditary tipo encarditis, as you know, it's very difficult to screen for cancer with imaging because the whole glands is completely removed. Just an example of uh, interest of uh, Pascal, the... Pascal, Pascal, you finished? need to go to the conclusion. Okay, I go to the conclusion. It's finished. Okay, okay. I finish with screening. Uh, limited screening OS is an accurate technique, but it needs expertise for pancreatic examination, knowledge of the literature, and to try who uh, we research searching for. I finish here. This generates anxiety, of course, and you have to care of the patient because they are anxious of this screening, but its perception is over the advantage uh, and the advantage over the disadvantage for this patient. And the limit, finally, my two last questions. Effect of systematic screening of survival is not proven now. Level of cancer risk in syndromic and non syndromic susceptibility have low precision. Genetic determinism in non syndromic familial pancreatic cancer form is unknown. And the natural history of pancreatic lesion in these patients at risk are also unknown. And this is my last slide. Difficulty to identify panin using imaging techniques remain. Lesion can be multifocal. And numerous examine relative screen, most often normal. This is a problem of availability for a center to use AUS and MRI for this patient without lesion. And recall, remind uh, morbidity of pancreatic surgery, often cause psychological impact of screening. Thank you very much.